Hey, Thomas here, and this video is for you if you're in the position right now where maybe you're getting into parkour, you wanna do wall runs, you're in obstacle course races, you wanna be able to conquer that wall, climb over a wall, but you're lacking one thing, that upper body strength, right? I've seen it in the comments, some of you, the big thing you're lacking is the upper body strength to get up and over that wall. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you one awesome trick, awesome technique here to get over and conquer those walls without using that much upper body strength. This technique is also very good if you want to conserve energy or just not use as much of your upper body strength to get over that wall. Now make sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you a five day free parkour starter course. All right, so this probably sounds familiar. You have a wall you gotta, you gotta get over for an obstacle course, for parkour. So you might do a tack, you know, tack up. You might just jump up to the wall. You grab on the top and then you just can't climb up. No matter what you do, you can feel it. Your upper body strength just isn't there and you're not able to get over that wall. It's a horrible feeling. So what can we do? We can use a technique called the heel hook. And what this is gonna do is utilize, instead of using your upper body primarily to get up and over the wall, you're gonna use muscle groups that are much stronger, that are also better for endurance. That is your legs. So when we do the heel hook, we're gonna wrap around the top of the wall or whatever we're trying to climb over with our heel hooking in and using core strength, leg strength, and a little bit of the, little bit of the upper body to get up and over. And it's gonna be much easier than trying to just muscle it out. This heel hook technique for getting over walls is also very popular in the military. When we ran the Navy SEAL O course, we saw a lot of the military guys were using this heel hook to get up and over walls. And it's a very efficient method for climbing over walls. So let's break down a little bit of the technique here. There are two versions of the heel hook that you can do here, depending on what's more comfortable with you. Now, know this, you are gonna have to have some core strength. It's also gonna help if you have some flexibility. If you're not too flexible, the second version is gonna be a little bit easier for you, but this is what it's gonna look like. The first version is you're on top of the wall, you're holding here, and what you're gonna do is turn your hips to the side. Turn your hips to the side. This is gonna open your hips up. This is gonna open your body up so that you can swing your leg up and over and get that heel hook. So it'll look like this. You're hanging, turn the hips to the side. You can use the other leg here to help assist. Bring that heel up and then you're there. Up and over, okay? So that's version number one. Twist those hips, open up the body, get that heel hook in. Now, if you're not as flexible, this might be an easier version. The second version is you're hanging on the wall. You're going to bring your feet up. You're going to step up the wall, bringing the hips back. And you're going to take a couple steps as high as you comfortably can. And then you're going to swing that, that leg and get that heel hook in. Swing up, get the heel hook, and up and over. Okay? So those are the two versions of the heel hook. This will take a little bit of practice to get that coordination. All right, now I'm gonna cover some key technique points on really getting over that wall after you get that heel hook in. You're gonna have that heel up. You're going to pull with your arms and try your best to keep your body close to this wall and get your chest up and over the ledge here. So you can use your elbows. Notice here, I go to my elbows here and I'm up and over my chest. I'm working to get my chest up and over this wall as fast as possible. I'm also really driving this heel and basically doing a curl with my leg here to help assist and lift. So it's gonna look like this. Curling up, lifting, up and over, and there you go. All right, so use that technique with the heel hook. If you're struggling right now with the upper body strength, you wanna be able to conquer those walls, get over those walls, it's a great technique to use. Now, I also have something awesome for you. We have a five day free parkour starter course. This goes over how to wall run how to accomplish your parkour roll, your basic landing, your first vault. It goes over a lot of different things to get you started in parkour and, and master movements like conquering wall runs and things like this and things for obstacle course races. So you can check that out in the link down in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Leave a comment down below. And then also I wanna give a shout out to Comatose Worldwide for this hat. I've been rocking this thing all through Columbia, all over the place. And as you see, it's, it's gotten some use. I'm loving this hat. So, I'll leave a link down in the description for comatose as well. Now let's finish off with my favorite part of the video and that is the comment shout outs. In the last video we asked the question, where are you from and why do you want to increase your strength? Now these three winners are going to be winning our Rapid Primal Fitness course. 
first one is Anti Odok from Croatia. It was awesome. You have been through our Get Fit Challenges and you're looking to lose some weight. You're getting hooked up with our Rapid Primal Fitness course. Then we have Brandon Adrian. Brandon's from South Florida. He wants to increase his strength. His overall schedule in life has been quite sedentary. And now he's wanting to, you know, increase his strength, accomplish some of those goals for calisthenics, just to run better and lift himself up and other things. So this one's for you. And third and final winner is Dennis Dudix from San Francisco, California. He's been a big fan of the videos for a while, and his one of his big problems is getting push-ups, increasing his strength, and that's what this program's going to do, so you're going to be getting hooked up. Thanks for leaving the comments. Now, in today's video, if you look down in the comments, we're going to have another question for you, and we're going to pick three winners on this, and you're going to get our crash course into parkour. So make sure you leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.